Hi, welcome to the description of the Benicia Amateur Radio Club Go Kit. We see here uh, uh, the front and back of the Go Kit. On the uh, shot on the, uh, the right, we can see uh, the 12 volt DC cord coming out of the port. Uh, the Go Kit has uh, lots of features. It's, uh, um, we call it all in one. Actually, it's all in two. There are two pieces to it. Uh, it's on wheels. Uh, it comes with uh, a couple of 110 volt extension cords, a 12 volt operation from a 100 ampere hour gel cell, a built in charger conditioner, <coughs> excuse me, breakaway connections to antennas, different antenna mounts. Uh, it takes about 15 minutes to set it up. Uh, Go Kit has <coughs> uh, got its own uh, coax runs. Uh, con control head, the remote head, uh, is removable for operation uh, at your desktop. Uh, it has an external speaker, it has headphones with a boom mic, uh, push to talk, foot switch, and uh, additional items. Uh, it's uh, uh, got the capability of uh, crossband repeat, and uh, it runs 50 watts on 2 meters and 35 watts on 70 centimeters. Let's take a look at the uh, base antenna components and how we set them up. Uh, initially, uh, we will set up a uh, six-foot tripod. It's made by MFJ. It's their model number 1918. Uh, here we see the uh, antenna uh, basically collapsed with just the tripod extended. Uh, we also see the um, uh, base of the antenna, the uh, little uh, aluminum cylinder uh, pre-attached to the uh, uh, to the tripod and uh, there uh, we see the tripod uh, extended upwards. Uh, over here we see a close-up of the uh, pin and the uh, locking uh, nut uh, which is on a handle that allows us to release uh, the inner shaft of the uh, uh, the tripod. Um, there we see on the right the pin is removed and uh, here we can see the uh, uh, pre-drilled holes in the tripod uh, mast uh, that allows us to raise it to uh, whichever height we want up to a total of six feet. Uh, we're uh, using a Diamond X30 dual band uh, base antenna. Uh, we've been asked why did we select this antenna. It was selected mainly because of its size and ease of assembly. Uh, it's only about four feet long, uh, which means uh, it and the tripod could easily fit on the back seat of an automobile uh, while the go kit goes into the uh, trunk. Um, it uh, also only needs one screw to hold this thing together. So uh, it's really simple and uh, uh, has proven to be uh, a, a good item to use. Uh, here we see the uh, antenna out of the package with the uh, three radials and the mounting uh, assembly and the brackets. Uh, a little uh, closer shot of the three radials. Uh, and uh, uh, here we have uh, the antenna um, with its one mounting uh, bolt. Uh, the mounting bolt uh, is right over here and uh, we just remove that one bolt and drop it uh, down into the tube and uh, put the bolt through that hole and tighten it. Uh, but before you do that you need to run the coax up through the bottom of the cylinder and here we see uh, four quick images of uh, the uh, coax cable. Uh, we're using LMR 400 in this uh, spot and the antenna is uh, connected to the coax uh, thusly. Uh, then lowered down into uh, the cylinder, the mounting cylinder, and we can see the, uh, the hole uh, getting ready to be lined up uh, with the, uh, uh, the screw threads. Um, there we see it uh, again, the, uh, the bolt being attached. Um, uh, we include in the um, accessory kit of hardware a uh, adjustable uh, wrench. Uh, we uh, snug down on the bolt uh, to tighten it. Uh, you can see a little uh, uh, nylon zip tie hanging there uh, uh, 
that's used uh, for storage uh, when this thing is uh, hanging on a hook in the uh, uh, EOC uh, so it uh, uh, can be stored off the floor and it just hangs from a, uh, a hook on the uh, wall. Um, we call your attention here to the uh, lower bolt. Uh, there's uh, the bolt over here and there's another hole over here. Sometimes people try and line up this hole with the hole in the cylinder. This is a rivet hole and if you try and put the bolt uh, into this hole it won't fit. So make sure you line it up uh, uh, into the uh, cylinder so uh, you're lining up the, the part with the, uh, the threaded hole. Uh, attaching the radials comes next. Um, we have uh, three radials that needs to be attached and uh, after they are attached uh, you want to snug down on the uh, uh, locking nut just to keep them from rattling loose in the wind. Um, uh, hardware. Uh, we have um, uh, a good portion of the things we can anticipate needing. We've got uh, three 50-foot rolls of RG8, two 25-foot rolls of RG8X. We've got two 50-foot 110-volt uh, extension cords. We've got uh, four barrel connectors for joining the coax cables together. Uh, two 90 degree elbows if it would make a uh, hookup uh, any easier in any given situation. We've got a Larson uh, mobile magnetic mount uh, uh, with about uh, 12 feet of coax pre-attached and a dual band Larson uh, NMO mount uh, to mount on the magnet. Uh, we've got uh, uh, headphones with a boom mic. Uh, the boom mic has a push to talk uh, switch and a foot switch uh, on it. Um, uh, the uh, headphones are from Gregoire and Associates. Uh, they're full uh, ear covering headphones similar to what uh, one might uh, wear um, in an airplane. Um, and uh, they run about $150 for uh, the uh, setup as uh, we uh, use it. We've also got audio hardware um, included in the uh, kit. We've got a remote speaker with uh, Velcro on the bottom of it. Uh, we've got audio extension cords. There's a couple of them uh, we'll uh, uh, talk about later. Uh, we've got an audio splitter so we can hook up two sets of uh, headphones simultaneously. And we've got some disposable uh, uh, iPod style uh, headphones uh, uh, for uh, the second operator uh, to use. Uh, the remote head uh, has a separation kit, uh, uh, cable and a mounting bracket uh, so we can uh, take the uh, front uh, panel off the radio and put it on the uh, uh, top of the uh, go kit uh, case or on a uh, uh, operating desk. Um, you saw we have an adjustable wrench, we've got a gooseneck lamp for lighting uh, the operating manual and the waterproof uh, nifty guide is included and we've got extra fuses uh, in the uh, package also. Uh, here's a layout of uh, some of the items. Um, again you can see the full earphone covering headphones at the bottom. Uh, the uh, push to uh, the uh, foot switch I should say is over here. Uh, the audio extension cable uh, there's about a uh, 15 or 20 foot uh, audio extension cable. It's one of two extensions uh, that we have. We'll talk about uh, the other one uh, uh, in a little bit. Uh, there's the magnetic antenna uh, and uh, uh, the loading coil uh, that will screw onto it. Uh, and at the bottom uh, over here we've got uh, our two 50 foot runs of uh, 110 volt uh, extension cord.